Okay, good evening po sa lahat. Good evening. Sana nasa mabuti po tayong kalagayan, ano? Ito, medyo kakaiba tong aking napanood na video. Ako, panood ko lang sa Facebook ngayon ngayon lang. Kaya pala, no? Kaya pala gustong-gusto ng tao tong si BBM or si Bongbong Marcos. Kahit pala si Chris Aquino is patunay yan na talagang napakatalino ni... Hindi lang matalino, talagang mababang loob at kilala niya si talagang kilalang kilala niya ugali ng tatay niya. Siyempre dahil ama niya yon at kung sa pagde-declare nga pala ng martial law, yun alam niya totoong sitwasyon. Kaya panoorin niyo tong video na to dito sa ito yung lumang ano lumang programa ni Chris Aquino na actually yun na. Ayun, actually yun na. Talagang Okay, kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na to, ini-invite kita na i-subscribe, i-like ang aking channel. At i-click mo rin yung notification bell para lagi ka updated sa mga bago kong video. Okay, start na tayo. Speaking of your father, what was President Marcos like as a father growing up? Kasi how old were you when he was elected, Bale? Um, yung, yung unang birthday ko sa Palacio was eight. Eight, eight years, years old. old. Oh. So, most, actually, all of your teenage years? All of my teenage uh, years. Uh, and including your 20s? Most of my 20s. Uh -oh. yeah, mga 28 na kami nung umalis. So, that was, uh, that was a long, long time. Yeah, in was Palacio. he a disciplinarian? Well, hindi naman sa disciplinarian in the sense that uh, he would make very clear kung anong, uh, anong hinahanap niya sa inyo, what mm -hmm. he expects from you. And he would make it very clear if you did not live up to the standards that he put, that uh, may, na medyo masama ang loob niya sa iyo. Uh, in terms of actual pure discipline, yung pumapalo or something like that, hindi naman gano. Ang mommy mo? Mommy ko, mas lalong yes. hindi. Masyadong mabait yun. She cannot even, uh, she, she would just... Uh, Siguro pag hindi na niya matiis yung uh, yung frustration niya iiyak na lang yon pero I, in terms of actual actual beating as the as yes. the English call it I was beaten more in my school in England than I ever was by my parents But when you were studying here nasa Lasal ka di ba Lasal Hills yes How was it uh, was it a problem dahil marami kang bodyguards were the other boys Ilang? Medyo aloof ba sila sa'yo? Well, I'm sure nadaanan mo rin yun. Of course, yeah, pero kahit... Pero pa high school na, oh, so medyo iba na yung ano Ka nun. Kasi kung bata naman, yung mga ganong, ganong edad, hindi pa masyadong naiisip, natutuwa lang sila. May mga baril ba yan? May mga ano, yan lang naman ang tinatanong. But uh, madaling makalimutan yan. Basta't mga bata, nakikita mo, magsasama-sama. Maglalaro yan. So it wasn't really, it wasn't really a problem. And... Uh, when it when it would have been a problem in high school i had already left so i was uh, in the in in england hindi na masyado yung security nakikita nung ano ka when you were growing up did you have children's parties sa malacañang oh madalas madalas in fact yung mga children's parties namin yung mga party namin uh -huh. mga magkakapatid doon na ginagawa sa sa palacio because uh, we would invite a lot of people they would have performers and things like that we have we have great parties in the palace all your life, kasi, bale, both parents are very active in politics. Do you think that is what has led you to go into this kind of life? Oh, in, uh, hindi mo maiwasan. There is no, no way. The, the only way you can uh, explain uh, my have, having entered politics is definitely because of uh, how my father really, uh, that he, he even said it in his, uh, when he was still alive, uh, that, that uh, he would say, I have committed not only myself, to the work that I have done. I have not committed only my person, but my wife and my family too. And uh, the time will come when you will find that you have no choice. Uh, not, not to enter politics, but perhaps in the positions, in the, the kind of causes that we would champion. So, matagal na talagang na, alam na namin na kahit papano, yung ginawa ng aming ama will uh, affect us for, for the rest of our lives, so, in whatever fashion. So, and it, it's turning out to be true because how can something that that dominant uh, be, be suddenly just just go away so kahit na ngayon ilang taon na ito we're still feeling the effects of uh, what my father what my father did and i have no doubt uh, to the day i die i will be feeling those effects you're the middle child ba i am the middle child yes how is it kasi ako youngest eh, so medyo na be baby talaga ako ikaw middle child only boy pa uh siguro i don't know it never felt dominating like... bang ate si Amy? In the, uh, ate. She was a proper ate. Tinuturoan kami. Halimbawa, nung bata pa kami, nung una kaming dumating lalo sa England, dahil 
Uh, hindi hindi Bakit kami marunong. Bakit kayo pinadala sa England? Mostly security. Yes. Um, madami kami problema sa security dahil uh, ako marami Anong mga year na when you went to England? I left it? for England in 1969. My first, uh -huh. no, 70. 70 was my first year there. And then, you stayed there until when? I stayed there for almost 10 years until uh, the eight, I, until I left for uh, University of uh, Philadelphia, of Pennsylvania. Nag-Wharton ka, di ba? Yeah, that's when so, I went to Wharton, yeah. Do you feel na those 10 years helped you a lot? Kasi at least, um, hin medyo ordinaryo kang citizen. Oh, malaking, oh, malaking bagay. Dahil, in fact, that was one of the reasons, no, that my father, but uh, of, of course, he would have preferred Na oh. dito kami naka, dito kami nakatira sa Manila. How did you keep in touch with what was going on dito? It was Kasi syempre when martial law was declared, you were abroad. It wasn't easy. I was uh, when martial law was declared, uh -huh. uh, we had expected something dramatic to yes. happen. Uh, because marami nang beses na my dad would say that this is a real problem, we may have to do this, we may have to do that. But um, in, 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 in general, how did we keep up? My parents would send us newspaper clippings. Mm -hmm. uh, we would call, we would write. In, in, in my school in England, there was, uh, you had to write one letter to your parents every week. Laga. So that uh, that was it was actually a good thing because iba yung tawag eh, iba yung iba yung sulat yung sulat hinahawakan mo and you can read it again and again and it really uh, taught taught I think both sides including my parents the the habit of writing so they would send us the news uh, nung nauso na yung um, videotape magpapadala yes. ng videotape so that they would try but inevitably pag uwi mo rito maraming nangyari na hindi mo na namalayan so you just have to catch up Medyo, let's go naman dun sa lighter side. Ang first girlfriend mo ba since you were in England? British ba siya? <laughs> Ay, naku, nung nasa England ako, wala akong panahon. Hindi, hindi kami pinapalabas na iskwilahan. They would not, they would let oh. me out. I would be in school for, isang semester namin was three months. Mm -hmm. Sa tatlong buwan, I would be able to sleep one night outside of school. Yun lang. Yun lang. Uh -huh. And every month, I could spend one Sunday out of school. So, so when you'd make legal, dito na? Ah, dito na siguro sa Pilipinas. <laughs> Kasi dito, dun, halos di ka, kahit yung mga restaurant, yung mga bar, di ka makapasok, yung mga nightclub. Eh dito, hindi masyadong strict to. Kahit basta't may kasama kang may edad, they will let you in. Do you feel na a lot of the girls were <laughs> fawning over you na pinagkakaguluhan ka dahil bongbong Marcos ka? Uh, or do you think it's your charming personality? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that they were fawning over me to begin with. Uh, I don't know kung bakit lahat ng tao, ang kanilang impression sa akin are that the women were fawning over me. There were, believe me, there were times kung I would be calling, trying to get a date, and I couldn't get a date. Why suddenly this image of uh, women fawning all over me? But I, I don't know. Uh, I think, yung, uh, pag, you, you tell me if I'm right. Yung paganak ng presidente, that last mga 5-10 minutes, unless may complex na talaga yung tao, yung talagang galit sa'yo ka dahil anak ka ng presidente, wala ka na magagawa. But karamihan naman ng mga tao, pagka nakausap mo na, after 5-10 minutes, wala na, that's over. Uh, except for the fact that you're surrounded by Would anybody <laughs> have the guts to say na, Oy, pare, galit ako sa'yo. Bakit ganyan naman ang mga magulang mo? Would they do, dare do that to you? Hindi naman. Meron, magkikriticize sila, pero hindi yung galit ako sa'yo. Sasabihin, bakit naman ganyan? Alam mo yung tao, hindi ganyan dapat, hindi ganyan ang, hindi tama ang ginagawa, hindi, hindi ganyan ang tingin sa ginagawa ninyo, etc., etc. So, uh, inevitably, that, that would happen. Kasi naman, if you have good friends, uh, they will tell you what they believe to be the best. Pagka naman sa tingin nila, it's, 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 it's a criticism that is not merely to, not, not mischievous or naninira lang, then it, it, that's, that's valid and you just accept it. How would you react about the criticism hurled at your parents through the press and through the mass media? But before you answer that, we're going to pause for a while. Napaka-interesting ho ng ating discussion with Mr. Bongbong Marcos. Please don't go away. Criticism kung tawagin, let's say sa, sa mga payagan, sa radio, sa TV, well, I have been, I, we, we have been experiencing my father's political life for a long, long time. I remember in 1963, 64, when he was Senate President, wala kaming narinig, kundi oust Senate President Marcos every day. I remember that. So, we have been used, we've been used to this kind of thing, no? And uh, kahit papano, if you're in politics, there's no way around it. Wala ka naman magagawa na lahat masaya, eh. May, merong merong magkikriticize kahit ano pang gawin mo. So, you just have to take it uh, as it comes. And as I said, keep your mind open. And kung talagang uh, it, is a, it is a constructive criticism, then sige, makinig ka. But uh, you also have to not take it all to heart. Because kung minsan, 
itong mga nagsasalita ng uh, pinipintasan kayo, is not because they really believe that, dahil kalabang mo eh. Siyempre. Ano pa naman gagawin nila? Alam nga naman na eh, they pupuriin ka. So, they will, that is part of their job. So, you just have to take, trabaho lang, ganyan lang naman talaga. Bong, how many percent of your father's so, ideology did you ba? believe in? Meron ba times na sasabihin mo, hindi pa, hindi ganyan eh. Ito yung pananaw ko. Lalo na, I guess, when it came to youth affairs. Well, I think in it, uh, It, it came after I was. It so happened that when all this uh, turmoil was going on here, um, I was in the, I was in England studying political. Well, one of the subjects I was studying was political science, and many times, especially when it is uh, explained to you in a very idealistic way, as it is in school, sa sabihin ko, oh, di kung ganon, bakit yung sa amin ganito? Then uwi ako, Dad, explain mo nga sa akin ito, and we would we would we would argue. And I came around to his way of thinking. And uh, uh, in terms of the pure, the pure fundamental ideology of, of, of what my father was uh, espousing, uh, I think that still is valid even today. Um, of course, the, the, the time has changed and much has changed. The Philippines has changed. The Philippines has changed. Do you talk to me? Nandito ako nung uh, pinag-uusapan ng kabataan. Ang kabataan ngayon, napakalaking iniba na kaysa sa kabataan na nakaraan. Do you think pwede pa tayong bumalik dun sa... Could it be possible na martial law would come back to the Philippines? Could a person be as strong as your father was? Or do you think we have enough electoral safeguards ngayon at malakas na ang Senado at Kongreso na imposible nang mangyari yun ulit? Well, speaking as an oppositionist, uh, I, don't know, I don't know na malakas na ang Kongreso at saka ang Senado because uh, the, the Pangasinan Express is one term that has been used about the, House of, about the Congress. But uh, I, I think what the, it is not what, what, how my father was able to consolidate his uh, foundation was really the key. And if we are going to talk about martial law, ang martial law, ang, ang uh, inaasahan mo, ang sinasandala mo dyan, ang militar. Yes. At kung ang militar ay nanghati, eh, wala kang, hindi, hindi mo magagawa ang martial law dahil pag nag-declare ka ng martial law, kalahati lang sasama sa'yo o ilan lang sasama sa'yo. Yung iba, tumututul, kakalabanin ka pa. So it won't, it won't work. Uh, it really, you know, many people, many, many people have the impression na naging ganun yung ama ko dahil naisipan niya mag-martial law. Mm -hmm. Hindi sa ganun. Ang nangyari, inisa-isa niya yan. And he had to consolidate his power, his, the foundations of his power. And you cannot, it is, it is not something that you do by the stroke of a pen. It is really a, um, a political exercise yeah, by which you bring all the forces allied to you together. Na pag you declare something like martial law, I do not believe that the military is uh, is as united uh, or or has been as united since uh, the events of '86. But are we better off this way now? Wala tayong general Verna, strongman lang. Na medyo yung power talaga is divided. We are talking about friends of mine, so uh, I would <laughs> beg to differ. I would beg to differ about uh, uh, your outlook. So, but. I don't know. Uh, the military should really should really be as one, uh, and mm -hmm. it is. You know, I spent a little time in the military, and to see soldiers uh, literally shooting each other is a, a very painful thing, and uh, that is something that is to be avoided. So, if we can avoid, if we can avoid the involvement, perhaps of of, of uh, soldiers in politics, maybe that would be something. But The way things have happened, the way the, hist the history has, mm -hmm. has unfurled itself, is that I would say that uh, the soldiers have perhaps also earned a right to be part of the political process. Now, how they will exercise that right is something that we in the Philippines will have to dis discuss for ourselves and decide for You're ourselves. You're not talking naman about a junta. No, not oh. necessarily. Uh, not necessarily. I, that's what, that's, that, you see, there is a... There is a um, an idea, especially from the Western, mm -hmm. Western governments, that, gov that the civilian authorities over the military should be paramount. I agree with that. But whether or not the, the, the military should be allowed to make themselves felt as citizens is perhaps another question. 
that we in this country, paano mo ngayon paatrasin ang ramos sa politika? Hindi na naman sasabihin, let us now suddenly declare that all military people are not allowed to involve themselves in politics. That would be crazy because you just couldn't do it. Siyempre They naman, dahil silang botante din. Hindi lang sa ganun, nandyan na sila. Mm -hmm. eh, Pinagpag-usapan natin si Greg Gunasan kung tatakbo o hindi. Nandyan na ang ano, paano mo sasabihin? Oh, kung sige. tumakbo siya, iboboto mo ba siya? Si Greg, depende uh -huh. sa plataforma niya. Uh, and so far, sa pag pinapag -usapan, yung napapag-usapan, he is still reformist. And uh, mm -hmm. what uh, he intends to do, what, what he has said that he would do... Does it impress you? It seems to it seems to jive with much of uh, much of my thinking. So I would I would like to get get into it more. I would speak to him about it. Mm -hmm. But on the face of it, I, I would say that perhaps uh, we we would have much in common. Kinokuna nila ako. But before we go to our commercial gap, I need a light or question from Tita Sarding. Gusto ko marinig yung bong bong. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yes, you, Tita Chris. Swerding. And good evening, bong bong Marcos. No. Ah, uh, kasi bong bong. Ah, <laughs> uh, what nung uh, tumawag ako sa phone sa office ng uh, ng office mo no, sa congressman's office. Ah, uh, para bang hanggang ngayon binabanggit pa ang uh, Chris at Chris sa iyo. Totoo bang nagkaroon ka ng crush kay Chris Aquino? Ay, ko naman, just go. <laughs> okay, sasagutin ni Bong Bong 'yan after you pause for this. Please don't go away. We're back, Arnelli. Ano? Ano ba lang? Ano embarrassed daw ako sa tanong niyo. Kalain ni Bongbo pinafeed ko yan. Alin lang alin? Yung may kung meron siya nagkaroon siya ng crush sa iyo. Yung ba yun? No, hindi Chris. Sorry, Tinga. You're so embarrassing. Ah, talaga. Sorry, Chris. Pero... Uh, nung nakausap ko kasi yung secretary ni uh, Bong Bong sa office, Bong lagi Bong. daw binabanggit yung ano, Chris Aquino hanggang ngayon. Totoo yan. Uh, pagka lumalabas ako, oh, ayan, 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 ayan. Ito nagka-cross. Uh, Hindi, is it because siguro may Romeo and Juliet mentality yes, talaga ang mga that's Filipino? That's absolutely right. Pagka nagla, nag, nagla, lumalabas ako at nagsasalita ako before people, uh, siyempre at, at, at one point mag-open forum kung minsan mm -hmm. or sa press conference, lalo sa kabataan, laging tinatanong... Uh, kung ikaw ba'y papasok sa larangan pelikula, uh, papayag ka ba na leading lady mo si Chris? Yan ang mga tanong nila sa akin. So, up to now, yan napapag-usapan. Dahil nga dun sa nabanggit mo. Yung nagawang bong yung, bong yung and play. Chris. Alam mo na, ano? Yes, Senorita Preciosa. I have a follow-up question para kay Congressman. Ano? I understand your wife is a lawyer. Uh, was it, what is it like to live with a lawyer wife? Does she nag? Do you argue a lot? Do Will you debate like, at the ano, dinner table? Hillary Rodham Clinton. Well, see, Lisa ba has the Lisa, tendency. no, Lisa is, you know Lisa. She's yes, not, she's her. not at all like that. Uh, Lisa does not bring her work home. Pagka, mm -hmm. uh, the, is she a practicing lawyer? Yes, she is. She is practicing. Corporate right or criminal? Uh, she was in litigation, but she's oh. now uh, sort of going towards corporate mm -hmm. more and more. Uh, um, on, on a professional basis, lalo na on, in my work, I need legal opinion. And mm -hmm. kung babasa ko or something, and there's nobody else to ask, I need a legal opinion. I am lucky to have my wife. So you work to, hand in hand. Well, with your wife. no, we, 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 in terms of profession, because she is a she is a professional and she's a lawyer and she's a very good one because I've worked with her. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when it comes to lawyering. Uh, out, sasabihin ko, hindi naman talaga ako abogado sa so tatanong ko sa kanya. How active is she in politics? Does she go house to house din pag kampanya? Or? It, she's, not, she's slowly getting getting into it. You know, uh -huh. Hindi naman siya sanay sa politika. Uh, in fact, pagka sinasabihan siya na kailangan siya pupunta rito, lalabas dyan, she always says, I'd rather work uh, quietly behind the scenes, maybe help with the with the arrangements How and all that. How is your mom as a mother-in-law? Oh, she's great. She's great. Oh, yeah. In fact, I, I, I always tease her that she's nicer to our to the in-laws than she is to her actual <laughs> kids. She's much stricter with the kids. With uh, Greggy and Tommy and Lisa, she's always very supportive. Pero sa inyo? Well, sa amin, eh, iba na talaga pagka-anak, eh, magkamali ka lang. Anak mo yun, you know. She, she says she, she... Again, it's, the, it's mm -hmm. those levels of standards that... Uh, it's those levels of standards that uh, my father said. I suppose it's the same kind of thing that uh, she's trying to continue to to uh, to keep uppermost in our in our minds. That there uh, is a level of standard that you. How okay, old is your son me. now? My son is my son is uh, ten months 
oh, ten, ten months, months old. So, one year na March, March na pinanganak. So, do you think that your son will also be geared towards following in your footsteps? I always say that whatever, no, my my son will not be pushed or he will be exposed to mm -hmm. everything that that goes on in the in the real world. But uh, he will have a choice, and uh, when the time comes for him to decide what he, his career will be, he will have a choice. He can be a musician, he can be a writer, he can be a politician, he can be any, anything he wants. Speaking uh, Chris, of exposure, Chris. sorry, na, last question oh, sige, ito. Sige, sige, pero lang sana ito, akong gusto And then, ito ko lang sa exposure sige, sige. kasi, kasi di ba, ang 1986 had a profound effect on my okay, life, as I'm sure it had a profound effect on your life. Bilog, Do you bilog, think na um, with what happened, did it bring your family closer together? Dahil, di ba, in the face of adversity, talaga, sino bang nag-unite kung hindi yung magkakapamilya? Totoong-totoo yan. At uh, they, pagka sinasabi sa akin, is there, what are the good things that happened, you know, because of this, uh, the exile? And sinasabi naman nila, that, sinasabi ko, isa sa pinakamagandang nangyari, talagang nag, nag, uh, naging malapit kami mga pamilya. And, yes. and many, and my, I wasn't married yet then, but my uh, sisters were, with small children mm -hmm. and sinasabi nila mas mabuti na rin in a sense that they now fa found the time kasi kung hindi nangyari yun they would be working they would be doing things hindi nila nakikita yung kanilang anak whereas now they are able to to just they, well during the when we were in exile they could spend time yung walang ginagawa exile. was it a difficult adjustment kasi for us it was a very difficult adjustment because um biglang your walang adjustment period diba normally when someone is elected meron kang time for yung ano di ba like in yeah. the states from That's... november january pa bago nagaka inauguration so mm. maganda yung turning over ito bigla biglaan sa inyo ba ano was it how did it feel na biglang hello goodbye philippines was, hello america and... it was it was uh, it was shocking I, in the pure sense yung you were you were you were nalaman you were... mo ba ko sino yung mga tunay na kaibigan oh, oh. they say that's what normally happens well ano? talagang uh, makikita mo talaga kung marami sino ba talagang balimbing bong <laughs> <Yeah. Ako. laughs> bakit sorry yeah. ano, ha? Uh, as, oh, ano. as we've mentioned this is history in the making oh, oh. You know? pero matagal-tagal bago maulit ito na masagot mo muna sa kanya oh. yun yung tungkol sa maganda. balimbing ah, yung balimbing oh sige oh, oh. Oh, mamaya makopa naman yung sabi mo sige kung maraming balimbing hindi alam mo ang tingin ko ganito people people are not are not hindi naman masama ang tao meron masama talaga na hindi naman hindi naman kailangan mamintas pa eh marami pang sinasabi but there are people na makikita mo eh, that's, that's their survival din eh hinate Kasi, mo ba kami? ha? Na, ah! ah! Ay, ah! Ay, hindi kasi teka teka ito na nga ito nga maganda ang segue I was explaining that to him <laughs> Na ano, kasi See before, she, I was telling him na I was a year and a half, tapos sabi ko, kulang na lang isipin ko, meron kayong mga horns sa ulo ko. <laughs> Dahil, syempre, di ba yun ang kinalakihan ko? So, See I was nga, wondering nga. kung, was the situation the same for them? Well, uh, I think, you know, in our case, because we have, as I said, been in politics for a long time, yung mga personal na ano namin, hindi masyadong pumapasok yan sa hate, and oh. love and, well <laughs> siguro sa umpisa you know when you unang unang reaction uh -oh. mo uh, sasabihin mo bakit naman ganito mm -hmm. bakit yung mga tao ganyan but after a while uh, lalo na yung sa 86 nung nasa Hawaii uh -huh. kami sabi mo ganun talaga ang buhay wala kang magagawa just get on with it uh, and again we really got, we really came to the conclusion that they, to cloud your mind mm -hmm. with all of this uh, emotion Especially when you're talking about your public life, it's, it's a dangerous thing. So iniwasa namin yon. Nakakaya na niyo yon to separate it. You have to. You just have to. Okay, Arnelli. Ah, oh, ito na ako nakabuelo rin ako. <laughs> Sorry. Ano, ibang klase ka talaga. Nag-absent ka lang ng isang uh, lunes eh. Nag-turbo ka na eh. Hindi na, si Tito John Marie nagpapa-impress. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you, you are very, very good. Oh. Mm -hmm. Pero Chris, alam mo, sinabi nga natin, history in the making ito, na-interviewin mo si Congressman Bongbong Marcos. Now, hindi na tayo siguro makakapag-antay pa ng isang beses na maulit ito. Yes. Now, kung sakasakali, magkabalik na ang sitwasyon na si Congressman ang may show at ikaw naman ang i-interviewin. Interview. Pwede, pwede ano, siya mag-show. Ano kaya kung balik na rin natin for a while? Congressman, is there a question in your mind na noong pa, hindi mo pa namimit yes. si Chris, puro sa dyaryo lang, ano ang gusto mo itanong sa kanya? Yung mainit-init, ha? Well, I suppose that... Kahit hindi political. 
kahit hindi political. Oh, wag mo na political. Ay, hindi political. Dahil hindi na wala naman sa larangan oh. politika si Chris. So, I would... No, I would... So, so, yung mga na-headline. Yung sinabi mo parang... Uh, oh. A question for Chris Aquino from <laughs> the Congressman Bongbong Market. Hindi, yung sinasabi mo, akalain yung nasabi, may sungay na oh, oh. And, and, and all that. How did that come about? Because we never... We, you know, we were all... Hindi naman ikaw siguro personally. But syempre, di ba, ang nakatatak sa utak ko, the reason my dad was in jail was because of your dad. Hmm. So, tapos, ang... Oh, Oy, gano'n ka diretso tau. Hindi, totoo naman ho talaga yun. Kasi nga, I was explaining to him, I was only 18 months old when martial law was declared. So, 18 months lang ako nun. So, syempre, ang kinalakihan ko, dumadalo kami sa Fort Bonifacio. And tinatanong ko, bakit ganito? Bakit ganyan? Or, and syempre, bumabalik sa dad mo. But then, I remember, of course, na your mom was very nice to my dad nung nagka-heart attack ang daddy ko at ang mommy mo nag-facilitate na makapunta kami sa Amerika. So, hindi naman ako blinded totally na lahat ng ginawa nyo evil. Hindi naman ganun. Pero, hindi, I, ano, I once hindi. saw your dad when he uh -huh. came to, uh, when he came to the palace. Yes. Uh, na balitaan namin sa, I was hanging around. Si Daddy nag-iisa sa opisina niya. Sabi ko, bakit walang tao? Bakit walang bisita? Sabi, pupunta si Ninoy. Mag-uusap silang dalawa. And your father arrived. And mm -hmm. I was so surprised. Nakatago ako sa likod. This usual ko, basta may, may, may alam kong medyo importante yung nangyayari. Like, you talk about history uh -huh. in the making. That was history in the making. Uh, nakatago ako sa likod. And I was so surprised. Ang tawagan nila, Brad. Because Ta they were both from Upsilon, Upsilon. Diba? And I remember a question that my father asked. Uh -huh. and it's, uh, your, your father asked this. Sabi, Brad, bakit mo naman ako kinukulong? Bakit mo naman ako mm -hmm. linagay sa Fort Bonifacio? Ang tanong naman ng tatay ko sa'yo, uh -huh. Brad, kung ikaw nasa position mo, sa position ko, hindi mo ba gagawin? Ayun, uh -huh. nagtawanan silang dalawa. So I suppose they were able to to uh, see further than uh, the that. Well, siguro, di ba, pagka mag-anak ka, mas matindi talaga At yung talaga, nararamdaman uh, well, mo. Well, sa bagay, kung... Uh, Kung ganun ang papagos... Siguro if um, eight months from now and you were jailed, siguro yung, yung anak mo rin naman siguro, yun ang kalalakihan. Kung sino man yung in power at that time will also be, I guess. Well, we, I, it, I suppose it's inevitable that uh, that, that would happen. I, basta sa, especially sa Philippines where the politics is taken so personally. Yes. Napakalaking problema natin yan dito sa Pilipinas. Dapat ang... ang politiko hindi naman na uh, hindi naman dapat pinapasukan ng personal but uh, but in fairness naman i've always said every time na papanood ko si Bongbong na napakatalino niya napakaarticulate na at mukha naman siyang hindi makakapatay ng tao so yun naman ang sinasabi ba mukha siyang mabait talaga please Yes. Uh, excuse me, no? Ang ganda kasi ng discussion na talaga sobra over my dead body. Sa totoong gusto ko lang, uh, saludong-saludo ako sa inyong dalawa, hinahangaan ko kayo kasi napakatalino nyo, no? Pero kayong dalawang tatanungin ko, uh, someday, may ambition ba kayo na uh, tumakbong presidente? And would you be like your father? Uh -huh. In case you'll be At maglalaban pa kayong dalawa? Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> ako, would uh, the scenario be the same? I think, in my case, um, mas mahirap siguro because babae nga ako. And yung sa mommy ko was a very special situation. I think, to this day, very, very male chauvinistic ang ating society. So, mahihirapan pa ho ang mga babae. I don't know if 30 years from now, the situation will be different. Uh -huh. Pero um, ako siguro, gusto ko maglingkod sa mga mama mayan, but I don't think politics is my cup of tea at this moment. Yes, uh, what about Bongbong? Bong? Excuse me, Bongbong. Bong. Una-una, I beg to differ. Ang, oh. ang mga, wala nang, ano, wala nang, di, lalo na ngayon sa, we'll talk again about the youth. Yung mga kabataan, yung mga chauvinistic na dating uh, cultural uh, impediments natin, wala na ngayon yan. And I would say that uh, certainly, in in our society, there are so many many of the many women are dominant in their societies. As in sa Ilocano, talagang matriarchal society kami, and we really respect the role of a mother, wife, and uh, other woman in. So in, I guess you make a very good husband, kasi di well, ba? Well, I, I, I try. Magandang <laughs> ano niya? What I, I, about you? Yung about tanong running for sayo. the presidency, I don't know. Uh, Is it one step at a time? No, I did not ano? enter politics to uh, to become president. Uh, I, you entered I, it for what? Purpose? I entered very specific yung akin yun. Dulang nasa Hawaii kami. I remember when we arrived, they literally took everything away from yes. us. And when we arrived, we had nothing. And ang mga tumutulong sa amin, yung mga, mga Ilocano, alam naman natin, ang daming Ilocano doon sa Hawaii. 
And po, lumalapit sila, tinutulungan kami, nagpap, uh, nagluluto sila, nagpinapakain kami, nagkoleksyon pa sa, para okay. makabili ng refrigerator, kung ano-ano. So, you know, you can imagine, this is somebody who... who, who Mararamdaman you, mo talaga oh, yeah, yung yeah, pagmamahal yeah. ng mga tao. So, ang aming iniisip, sabi, kailangan natin magpasalamatan itong mga ito. And this is what, how well do you serve the province? But also, I wanted to be part of the national debate. So, yes. I entered, sabi ko, ideal ang Congress. At uh, hindi ko naman iniisip ang pagka-Senado. Eh, napapag-usapan na lang yan. So, I, I guess here we are now, life as a, as a way of, of surprising us. And now that uh, I'm here, but I, I do not, I'm not, I did not go in, oh, uunahin ko yung congressman, tapos magsisenado ko, tapos tatakbo ko bilang Pangulo. Hindi ganun ang pag-iisip ko. Ang iniisip ko lang, paano maka, makapag, uh, makapagsilbi sa tao. And uh, we will see if uh, that comes, but it is not the end result. Because ang unusual sa atin dalawa, nakita natin yung pagkapangulo, hindi lang yung sa television. Yes. Nakikita natin kung gaano kahirap talaga yun. And that 20 years I'll ask you, napanood mo ba ang Dave? Yes. Yeah. Kasi kaming lahat talaga tuwan-tuwa dun sa pelikula oh, ngayon. Did, did you feel the same way? I uh, felt ano? it would have been wonderful if we could have uh, we could have done something like that. But oh, oh. Uh, unfortunately, isang sine lang yun. But it would have been nice. It would have been nice to have taken a little bit of a break. Okay, before we close, I guess, ang uh, tatanayin ko lang si Bong, Bong, do you think that the name Marcos is an asset or a liability in terms of politics? Sobra bang expectations ng mga tao sa'yo? Well, uh, in, not in, in a sense, it is, it is a liability mm -hmm. in that sense because they, kahit na sinasabi ko, no, actually, wala naman akong binabayo sa, yeah, yeah, you will be president in 10 years. Maraming mm -hmm. mga ganun. Uh, and, you know, you cannot, you cannot, uh, uh, say that no, I, I have no intention. That it's, it's somehow disappointing to them, but that is not that is not essential uh, an essential problem. Uh, ang, I think all, overall, in fact, I have not yet found a situation where it has been a liability. Um, uh, after all, I can come and uh, speak to you on your show. So being oh. a Marcos has not uh, held he has not held me back in any way. It's our pleasure to have you, Debak. Would you like to leave a message since? Nationwide na papanood tayo ngayon, lalong lalo na siguro sa constituents mo sa well, inyo. Well, lalo na na ngayon na napapag-usapan natin ng uh, mga kabataan. I would just like to... Uh, you feel you're still part of the youth? Well, maybe I'm... Pwede pa, di ba? Kasi under 39. Hirap na, hirap na. Then, namimili, uh, namimilit na. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I still feel sympathetic to, to what, they, what they have to face. And uh, kung, kagaya na sabi ko, napapag-usapan ng kabataan, I would like, for, first of all, to congratulate all the delegates for the good work that they did uh, with the Pope's uh, visit. At ituloy ninyo yan, tuloy nyo yung pag, uh, pag uh, aktivista ninyo, tuloy nyo yung pakikialam ninyo, at kailangan kayo ng ating bansa. Do not stop, stay involved, we need you. Thank you very much, Congressman. It's a pleasure having you. Anything from you? My opponent question kasi yung mga taga Pampanga, Bong Bong, kung tatakbo ka daw talagang senator. Uh, mukhang sa takbo ng panahon, ganun ang patungo ng aking gagawin. Yes, it looks like I will be running for the Senate. Congratulations in advance. Yes. Thank you very Senorita much. Senorita Preciosa. Okay. No thank, you very much, thank you very Wong. much. Thank you very much. Okay, thank okay, you so thank much. You. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> maraming maraming salamat po. Actually, you now will be back. Thank you, Congressman. Convincing otherwise qualified.